Hi everybody, it's me again, Cosimos is the first, the living Pharaoh, that which you shall be, an ancient one, one who has been here before, come again, left again, and come back again. Today, we want to demonstrate on the growing problem of homosexuality. Homosexuality is not a good demonstration. Homosexuality is wrong. Homosexuality stems from a person feeling that they're not what their body tells them it is. Homosexuality comes from a male feeling like he's a woman inside, and vice versa, a woman feeling like she's a male inside. But the reason why we feel this way, the reason why so many people are confused and lost to this disease of mankind called homosexuality is for the simple fact that our education system is flawed. Our education system doesn't teach us the truth. Our education system teaches us lies and falsehood. Our education system teaches us things that set us up to be controlled by governments and idiots who think they are smarter than us who can use us for their purposes. You see, the truth about life is that we are androgynous. That's right, mankind is androgynous. We are both male and female, both. In some lifetimes we may be male, in other lifetimes we may be female. Whatever we need to be in order to learn the lessons that we need to learn in that lifetime. That's right, reincarnation is true. Reincarnation is really what's going on. Look, at though, for those of you people who live in a part of the world where you see winter, do you not see the grass die and then come back to life every year? Well, if the grass can do this, and the grass is a lower form of life than you, then you can only imagine the things that you can do. Look at the caterpillar. The caterpillar dies and out of his dead body busts forth the butterfly, a powerful and more evolved creature than the caterpillar ever was. Why would you doubt that you would do the same? Because man has set up lies and told you that you can't do. But you can do way greater things than this. For we are great creatures. We are not homosexuals. We are not confused individuals who try to be something that we're not, something that's impossible for us to be in that lifetime. That's why we need to educate ourselves and wake up. And that's why today I come to you with the homosexual solution. We live in a society now where it's all about control. We live in police states. They use whatever they can to take powers and rights away from you so that they can destroy you and use you for their own selfish bidding and selfishness is not the way of the universe. If we just look right into our own human body, you got all these different parts, all these different systems in our own human body, but yet all of them work together to perform that one function for you to use your body and your vehicle. Nobody, nobody goes the opposite way of what something else in your body is trying to do because it's all one system. And in your body, everything is understood to be one system. But yet out here in this world, we look at everything as different systems. We see everything as opposite of us. When we look in our body at our white blood cells, if we got a shortage of those white blood cells, then the whole body starts to fail. So why not in the human race, if one group of people start to go this way while the rest of the people is going that way, why would you not expect failure? Homosexuality will cause the extinction of the human race. So how can you feel you're happy knowing that you represent the extinction of the human race. You're calling yourself gay, but what you represent is the extinction of your own species. This is sick, this is unnatural, and this is against the whole order of things on the earth. You're sick and disgusting if you choose to be a homosexual. And I don't care if you female or male with it. However way you do it, it's sick and disgusting. Now we're gonna take a look at a few examples of homosexuality, okay? Now, I've just told you why you feel like a woman in a man's body. Because in a past life, you were a woman and you probably prefer to be a woman. But now, your stubborn ass got to be a man to learn the lessons that you need to learn as a man. You see what I mean? Life is all about learning lessons. That's what you're here for, man. This shit ain't all about fun and games, sex, pussy, money, all. Fuck all that. That shit is nothing. That shit will never satisfy you. You keep chasing it and chasing it and chasing it. Keep getting hit upside your head and still get no satisfaction from it. It only lasts a few seconds and moments. What I'm talking about is eternal satisfaction. And eternal satisfaction comes from learning the lessons that you need to learn. Okay? Now, with this homosexuality thing, 
all you're doing is debasing yourself. You're going against your own plans for your own future. You're going against it, man, because you're stubborn. You can't let go of what you used to be. And you, the greatest lesson for all of us to learn is to let go. We even got to let go of our own bodies in order to receive another one in a new lifetime. So the greatest lesson ever learned is to let go. That's why we need to let go of these ways that destroy us. Now, here on this earth, we're all solving problems. Some people might be solve, trying to solve the problem of homosexuality, or others are trying to solve the problem of gluttony, others greed, others lust, and on and on and on. We all have problems that we need to work on. The thing about it is we need to come to the understanding that this is a problem so that we can work on it. You can't go around calling being gay and homosexual a choice. You see what I'm saying? If you're going to overcome these flaws and problems. And see, that's what's going on in the world today. You get, Making our young people think that it's a choice to be a homosexual when it's not. To be a homosexual is to be a flawed person, a deceiver. You take on the nature of Satan. Satan is a deceiver. Satan stands up before man and he says, I'm your God. Bow down and pray and worship me. When he's not a God at all, he's just as flawed as us. That's why he's a jealous and angry God. Because he's just as flawed and fucked up as us and he doesn't need to be in a position of power because all he does is abuse it. And that's why so much turmoil in this world. Every religion can agree that Satan is the God of this world. So what we must come to realize is that when you take on the character of a homosexuality, you're just as much a deceiver as him. Instead of you saying, I'm God, and bow down and worship me, you saying, hey, I know I got a man's body, but I want you to see me as a female. So now you're going to turn the next person into a deceiver because that's how you want them to acknowledge you so that, you know, the relationship between you two will be peaceful when you meet up or whatever. You see what I'm saying? But this is wrong. Homosexuality should never be accepted. Never. It's a flaw. It's a human flaw. It's a problem. It's no better than being a fat ass that can't stop eating. It's no better than being a murderer, a thief, or whatever. All this shit is equivalent because it's all debasing yourself and pushing your evolution backwards, okay? Accept who you are. Learn to love yourself whether you got a dick or a pussy. Whether you got half a dick, a whole dick, a half a pussy, a chewed up pussy, or whatever. Learn to love yourself for who you are and like who you are and become who you are and accept who you are. Stop trying to be something that you're not. It's disgusting. It's sick. It's crazy. And it's, it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your energy. It's a waste of your chi. Let it go. Let it go. Wake up and say, hey, today I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be a real man. Today I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be a real woman. I'm going to stop being this fake thing that's trying to deceive everybody into thinking that I'm something that I'm not. It's sick and it's disgusting. The misuses of the body is sick and disgusting. Putting your thing in somebody's behind and using it as if it's a vagina. It's sick and disgusting and it's debasing yourself. It sets you up for all type of diseases, hemorrhoids, AIDS, whatever the hell. It's sick and it's not right. If you're a man that know you're a man and you love yourself, but you have sex with your woman in the behind. It's sick and debasing your woman. How can you respect your woman knowing that she let you fuck her in the ass? Fuck her in her rectum, a waste disposal system. If I had a woman that let me fuck her in the ass, I wouldn't respect her. I'd look at her as a straight up fucking goofy. I wouldn't have no respect for it. And that way she would never be able to be my wife. Because how can I make someone my wife that I can't respect? And women, you need to quit being stupid enough to letting somebody go up in your ass. If he ain't gay, he two steps away from being gay if he want to fuck you in the ass. Because it's some sick shit. It's sick, it's disgusting, and it's against everything humanity stands for. There's so many animals out here wouldn't even try to do this shit. But here you are as a human race. Just because you're aware that you're aware, you think you got the right to do things that debase yourself and everything else. Every other living creature is just aware. But humanity is aware that we are aware. So that makes us something special. So that makes us have to carry ourselves as an example for all other living creatures. But when you carry yourself to a low degree, you ain't shit. You're a piece of shit. You're nothing. You can never feel good about yourself, and you set yourself up for failure in life. Yeah, you might have material success and all that, because they'll hurry up and give a homosexual material success because they don't feel threatened by you, because they know you're already fucked up because you think you're something that you ain't. But... That, that success is no success at all. The true success in this world is human evolution, learning the lessons, gaining the wisdom and understanding that you may evolve into a higher being, a higher creature in the future. This is what life is all about. Let's quit debasing ourselves, y'all. 
Now, with these skinny jeans, I want to touch back on that. You got my young brothers and sisters wearing these skinny jeans. Okay, the sisters been wearing skinny jeans. That's okay. We know you showing off for the men. But what is you men showing off for? You wearing tight-ass, skinny-ass jeans. What is you showing off for? You showing off for these dudes? Is you a fucking homo? Is you showing off for these dudes? Is that what you're doing? Because that's what it look like you're doing. And that's sick and disgusting. And we all know where the pan sack and shit come from. It come from people in prison knowing who they can fuck in the ass and who they couldn't. Sick, some more sick ass pathetic shit. I, I remember the other day I was in a club. Now I'm chilling, I'm drinking on my drink. You know, I'm checking out this female. She looking good. You know, we 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 we, we seeing eye to eye. You know, we, we see a connection for me. Here comes some goofy motherfucker with his pants hanging all up under his ass wanna ask him for a dance. Now I don't dance. I ain't the type of dude. I don't get into all that dancing shit. That's something I never tried to master. It's something I don't even want to master because it's foolishness to me. It might be fun or whatever, but most foolishness is fun. That's why we have to keep fun in moderation because, you know, it'll lead us off on the wrong track. But anyway, I'm trying to kick it with this female. I holler at her. Here come this dude with the pants all up under his ass. And then he want to dance with her, but he going to turn it back to me and face me where I can't even see the broad no more. All I'm seeing is his fucking ass every damn well. So me being the pharaoh that I am, I had to pull the guy to the side and let him know, hey, man, I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm not trying to belittle you or nothing like that. I'm just telling you, listen, man. I was trying to talk to this female, you know, hey, if she give you rhythm, she yours. I ain't tripping on that. But I'm checking out the female and I'm, you know, trying to get her attention. But here you go, jump in the way and got your ass all out everywhere. Listen, dude, don't nobody want to be looking at your ass. Don't no man want to be looking at your motherfucking ass. Pull your pants up and have some respect for yourself, man. And by me being an older brother, you know, I'd let the brother know, you know, and, and the brother pulled his pants up and I respect that. You know, it was a good demonstration because truth is truth. Right is right. The father stands for truth. Humanity are builders, not destroyers. When you go around carrying yourself in the wrong way, you become a destroyer. You take on the nature of the enemy, whether you realize it or not, and you become a destroyer. And what you do is you start to destroy something great, something beautiful, human evolution, the building of a new world. You bring it all to nothing. Homosexuality is never a choice. It will never be condoned by me. I don't hate you. I, I love you. I want to help you. I don't want to see you as a homosexual. I, don't want, I want you to have victory in your life, the same victory that I have in my life. I may not have the material success, you know what I'm saying, but I have the spiritual success. I love who I am. I have a wonderful relationship with the eternal one. I don't have guilts and fears and all that. Somebody could kill me today and I would be more than happy to let them kill me because I know I'm going somewhere better. My soul is prepared and I want my brothers and sisters in this world, no matter what race you think he is, there's only one race, it's the human race. And I I want all of you to come together and learn to change our minds to the natural state that it's supposed to be in, that we may make our world a better place. I don't want to come back to this world and it's 75% homosexuals and the world is sterile and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to reproduce and, 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 and continue my line of descent because everybody's homoed out and they putting pressure on everybody to be a homo. This is the extinction of our race, man. It's sick. Love yourself. Love yourself, love your body, love being a man, love having a dick, love being a woman, love having a pussy. It's your time to be that. It's your time to learn the lessons from that. I'm not homophobic, I'm not against you. I, 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 I'm not, it's nothing personal. I'm for humanity and I'm for the best of humanity, the betterment of humanity, the evolution of humanity. I am not for the destruction of humanity. And anything in my face that represents the destruction of humanity, I will not be on the same side. I will have to tell you exactly what you're doing wrong, whether you like it or not. Then you can call yourself my enemy. You can say that I hate you and all that. But in, in all actuality, it's not hate. It's constructive criticism. I want to help my brothers and sisters. I'm tired of looking at this shit. I see two females walking down the street and one of them trying to look like a dude with a guy's haircut and all this. What type of woman want a fake man when you can have a real man? There's plenty of them out here with a dick and supposed to have his hair cut like that and supposed to wear those type of clothes. Why the fuck is you going to go get a fake one? And then the relationship is just as fucked up as it would be as if you was with a man. It's sick. 
Y'all say, oh, I'm going to be with this girl because they're going to treat me better. No, this bitch treating you just as bad as the dude did because this bitch didn't learn her game from a dude because this bitch is trying to be a dude. And when it all boils down, the bitch is still going to put her dick on and fuck you like a dude, whether it's with a fake dick or y'all go get a threesome with a real guy and use him for the night and send him on. Either way it go, you're still going to need a dick because you know what you're doing is wrong and there's only one way to go and that's the right way. Seriously, I mean, it, 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 it just disgusts me to see our world coming to this shit. Gays marching, trying to get rights and all this shit. Well, if you giving somebody gay rights, then you might as well get the thief, the murderer, you know, the liar, all of them rights. Because wrong is wrong. And no matter what type of wrong you're doing, it's still equivalent to the next wrong. And going against your your existence by being a homosexual and saying, hey, I don't want to be with somebody I can reproduce with. I want to be with somebody that's got the same organ I got. It's just plain sick. Taking it up the ass is just plain sick. Two women trying to have a relationship is just plain sick. Wake the fuck up. You can love another woman if you're a woman, but you ain't got to sleep in the bed with her and try to act like y'all a couple. Men, you can love another man. I got plenty of brothers. I love them with all my heart. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to fuck them. And I don't want them fucking me in my ass. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's come to terms in reality of what life is all about. Let's try to look for what life is all about and find it. And make that the goal of life. Instead of just pleasure, fun, and just doing all type of senseless, stupid ass shit. Just because you're aware that you're aware when all the other creatures on this planet is just aware. You feel what I'm saying? Let's wake up. Let's become what we're supposed to be. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Let's live the way we're supposed to live. And let's all be one. Let's all be happy. Let's cut the bullshit out. Let's quit being mad at somebody else because they look different from us. Let's quit getting mad at somebody else because they did something on the job better than what, the way we did it when we was in their position. Let's get rid of all this bullshit. Let's let go of the jealousy, the hate, the lust. All the shit that brings us down and destroys us has got us chasing the wind. Let's let it go. Let's do right. Let's learn to have the heart to do right. Let's wake up, world. Let's do it. We can. I know you can do it. If I woke up, anybody can wake up. If I can see things clearly, anybody can see things clearly. Let's wake up. Religion is one thing. It's just all different aspects of the truth written in different forms. There's only one way to the Father, and that's the way of unconditional love and learning to let go of our flaws and all the characteristics that bring us down. Okay? Every religion is right. They just hold certain aspects of the truth. And once those truths are put together, we know the truth. Homosexuality is not right. If you, if you continue to practice this, it would be the extinction of the human race. Not only does it look bad, it is bad. Not only are you trying to make your voice sound feminine, not only are you women trying to make your voice sound masculine, but you are also destroying our race, our species. You are also putting us behind. We all need to go forward together. But the more you practice things that's wrong, the more you push us back together. And even those that are still pushing to get forward can't even get all the way forward because his own brothers and sisters can't get forward. It's, it's just like what I was saying with the human body. If your white blood cell count get low, you get sick because something ain't right. They all not working together. You see what I'm saying? We have to work together in order to get ahead. And in order to work together, we must have to work through truth, righteousness, and being right. We must look forward to the day that mankind's whole purpose of being is to be right. To do right just for the sake of doing right. Not to do right because you're scared you're going to get a punishment if you don't. That's sick. That's sick. And that's the concept that we need to throw away with in order to move forward. So, like I was saying... The homosexual solution is to teach people about reincarnation, to let them know that in the next life you might get to be that female that you want to be right now. In the next life, you might get to be that male that you want to be right now. But you have to earn it by learning the lessons you need to learn right now, by accepting who the fuck you are right now, and doing and learning what you need to do and learn in order to be the evolution of our species. That's what life is all about. Let us come together and move forward and get ahead by learning to be right just for the sake of doing right. Don't nobody like wrong. Homosexuality is not a choice. It's a choice if you want to go backwards. If you want to go forward, homosexuality is not a choice. It's a no-no. 
homosexuality is beneath you. Homosexuality is for fools, retards, and goofies. Am I understood? It's time to move forward. Now, to wrap up this session of the homosexual solution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a poem. And this poem will offend homosexuals. I'm not going to lie to you. This poem will offend homosexuals. But I'm only offending you so that you can see the need to wake up. Constructive criticism is the key to change and moving forward. You have to learn to accept the truth, no matter how painful it is. You must learn to accept the truth. Now, I'm going to break down to you. The name of this poem is called In the Homosexual's Diary. And this poem is basically written from the diary of a homosexual. This is what a homosexual wrote in his diary because people know they're wrong. You can play like you're right, you can play like you're happy, you can play like you're doing right, all this shit, but we know it's wrong. The government can help promote this gay shit to make you feel like it's right because they know your stupid ass is easy to control if they know you think you gay. If you're a stupid motherfucker that's already thinking backwards, then it's easy to control you. Now, you've been weeded out the system. Once they know you're gay, you weed out the system. You're no threat to making the world right no more. They already know you're wrong, you're going to stay in the back. They don't have to worry about you, they got you weeded out. That's what it's all about, being a homosexual. But anyway, in the homosexual's diary. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm the homosexual in the diary. But we know I'm not no homosexual, so we're going to get that straight with you. But I'm an artist, and artists do things like this, and this is the way we express the opinions and issues that we want to put out there for people. In the homosexual's diary, everybody. I am a homo. I should be extinct like the T-Rex. I'm sick in the mind, I lust after my own sex. I bring down society, I make it okay to be weak. I use freedom to my advantage, little children seem to peak. I am not a role model, people shouldn't accept me. My way of thinking is backwards, like me, please don't be. I have a demon, I don't even try to fight it. Every time I see my gender, I like to get excited. I have a serious problem, and I don't even care. I boldly put it out there, I love it when people stare. I find myself in denial, I don't need no help. Oh spank me, spank me, make sure you leave a whelp. I didn't mean to say that, sometimes it just comes out. I mean it's usually going in, did I just slip that out? I have a problem, and people don't make it better. They make excuses for me, they even call me Heather. They tell me I was born this way, I let them think it's true. I bring people out the closet. I wonder, can I bring you? People make me feel right, but I know I'm really wrong. As long as I can get away, I'll keep on carrying along. Now, that's as boldly and blatantly as I can put homosexuality, because that's exactly what it is. And this is from the, the homosexual's own mouth out of the homosexual's own diary. So they pulling the wool over everybody, and they tricking everybody into accepting this shit. And once you accept it, that's when they're going to start turning more and more people into this because you look at it as acceptable. When this is not acceptable, a dick doesn't belong in an ass, and uh, uh, two, two women don't deserve to be playing with a fake penis. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you the truth. You know, it's time to wake up, and a man ain't got no business sucking another man's dick. And another man ain't got no business letting his dick get hard so another man can suck his dick. That's sick in itself. You understand what I'm saying? And no woman got no business munching on some other woman's carpet. That's sick. What the fuck? You got that same ugly thing in between your legs. What the fuck is you doing licking hers? It's sick. Let's wake up, man. Let's wake up and get on the page that we need to get on so that we can evolve this planet and get to, get to better worlds, make better worlds. I'm tired of living in a shithole where everybody's got me fucked up and everybody want to be my enemy because they see shit I'm doing that they ain't thought about and they think, that make them think that they my enemy. Fuck this shit. This shit, this world got me so fucked up, I'm better off out in sacred groves and in deserts by myself than to be around a bunch of people that's got me fucked up and playing games and, and trying to maneuver around me like I'm somebody that they need to maneuver around and play games with when I ain't even on that. All I'm about is soul growth and the evolution of my human family. So with that thought, I'm going to pretty much wrap this up. But keep in mind that it's time for change. Humanity. It's time for us to wake up. 
It's time to get on the path that we need to be on, that we may grow and create better worlds for ourselves. You know, you're not doing this for your kids. You're going to have to come back to this shit if you ain't learned what you're supposed to learn. And if you're out partying and fucking everybody and, and playing games, you ain't learning shit. You're going to be right back here. And if you ain't done nothing to make this world a better place while you was here, you're going to come back to a fucked up situation. And I feel sorry for your ass because I ain't going to be with you because I'm doing everything I can to live in this world but not be of this world so I can get the fuck out of this world. But before I leave, I want to leave shit for y'all to follow in my footsteps. You understand what I'm saying? With that thought, we crush the beast and uh, we conquer in our lower self. And just know we love you all. We want you to stay focused, but we want you to make change your main objective. With that, much love. And this was the homosexual solution, my brothers and sisters. Have a good one.